Hey there everybody, Matt here from Matt's Trains and Tractors. Today we've got a new arrival from Lionel and that is their all new Legacy SW1 Switcher in Burlington Northern Paint. As you can see I've got the box right here and I just picked it up earlier today from my local train store. Today we're going to unbox this locomotive, go over all of its hardware and software features that it has to offer and of course do the running session around the layout. Sit back, relax and enjoy. Lionel offered the SW1 Switcher in their 2022 Volume 1 catalog in six different road names. With their offerings of the SW1, Lionel made it clear that each locomotive, depending on its road name and road number, would receive road name and number specific detailing. As for the SW1 Switcher in real life, they were built from 1938 to 1953 by EMD. Here we go, first glance. Oh. Gets me every time. That's a very special moment to look at a new engine. And you know, even though it's a smaller switcher, we're not gonna let that distract us from the fact of how good it looks. The Burlington Northern paint scheme looks really sharp, even just looking through the plastic here. Okay, let's get it out of the styrofoam. Alrighty, well there she is. Smells just like a new locomotive. That might be my favorite part of the whole unboxing experience is the smell. Looks like we got a few plastic tabs over here we'll have to remove. I must say, this locomotive looks fantastic from every angle. It looks ready to do some switching and pulling some freight cars. Taking a look at the back of it. Look how good those stripes look. Oh yeah, love that. And we got our beacon light up there. So happy that Lino went through with that. All right, let's get it on the track and go over some details. We're gonna start up here on the front like normal. Right here, we've got our electro coupler and I really like what Lionel did by making these front center handrails green and contrasting the white over here. Down here on the front of the pilot, we have a nice coupler cup bar, which can be raised and lowered just like that. It's a really nice detail. We've got our steps up and a pretty good sized front deck plate up here. Uh, nice little space up here. Lionel slowly worked it up. Nice added grill touches over here. And we've got a little 97 illuminated number board right here on the side of the headlight. There also is 97 on the other side as well. Moving across the roof, right up top we have a nice bell. And now we're going to check out the side profile. On the side of the locomotive, you'll notice that the number 97, which is unique to this locomotive, is very clearly printed in nice contrasting white to go with the dark green. SW1 is clearly printed down here, and I really like the touch line I made by adding a nice crisp F right there. Going along the side of the locomotive, we'll notice a separately applied ladder and handrails right here. The catwalk has no railing on the side of it, but that's alright because it gives us a better view at the nice added hinges and riveting details line I'll put up here. And going along the top of the green, where the green meets the black part of the paint, there is a separately applied handrail. So for those who would walk on the catwalk, they have something to hold on to. Moving along to the rear of the locomotive, you'll notice that at the top of the cab, we have our horn. There is the operating yellow beacon light, little antenna above the cab. And I really like how the cab is sloped on either end. It's really nice. Looks like a nice switcher. Some windows on the front of the cab. These windows do not operate here, but that's all right because it gives us a great view inside the cab. We have our conductor on this side, and on the other side is our engineer. The Burlington Northern logo and text is very clearly printed on the side of the locomotive, and down here is a nicely printed sticker. Similar to the front of the locomotive, 97 is clearly printed here on either side of the headlight or taillight, depending on which way you choose to operate the locomotive. And what really makes the back of this locomotive my favorite part are these white stripes that go along the center and all the way down here from the door of the cab down to the step. And just like the front of the locomotive, the rear deck plate is very spacious. An electro coupler back here, and similar to the front, you do have a coupler cut bar here. And I really like how they made it similar to the front by leaving the middle rails green and those outside rails contrasting white. I'm loving all the hardware and physical features this locomotive has to offer. Let's take a look at some of its software features. Here's a look at the roof of the SW1 from a bird's eye view. We've got our smokestack right here, some ventilation as well as the bell. I'm going to leave the camera in this angle to show you guys how creatively Lionel has concealed their program switch. You're going to pop off the left half grate over there and then it's going to reveal to you three switches. The top one is run program, the middle one is Bluetooth on off, and the third one is smoke on off. Because it's time to program the engine, we're going to put it into program mode, fire it up, and then we're going to check out its software features.
Alrighty, everybody. Well, that's just about going to do it for today's review of Lionel's Legacy SW1 Switcher in Burlington Northern Paint. Very pleased with this product, and I'm really happy to finally have it in my collection. A lot of good videos are going to be coming soon, including the ones we make out of the new Switcher and ones that we make with other locomotives and pieces of rolling stock. Please be on the lookout for more content. As always, thank you for watching. Stay safe and stay tuned.